Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Okay, we're back. Had a bit of a scary vision there. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. Yep, we're I'd just go chat up Chloe. We're just going to uh, run a lap a little bit. We just got to make sure that we have our, got to make sure that we got our senses intact. You know, after, you know, we have, uh, you know, issues with our, with you know, headaches. I'm sure you know, light and magic. You probably, you know, once you're feeling better, it's like, you know, you just got this wave of energy. You just got to go test it. You got to make sure that you're 100, percent you know, ready to go. I know there were times, you know, when I, you know, had killer headaches and, uh, you know, I was just sitting there just waiting for it to, to go and I would get up and it wouldn't go away and I had to sit back down, be a little more patient. And then, you know, once it was finally all said and done with, I could just, you know, I could walk around, I can run, I can use up energy, I can run around in circles without getting dizzy, just like what she's doing here, which is kind of making me dizzy, but I don't understand why she's not getting dizzy. So... I think she's all right, so we're going to go back to Chloe, see what's up. Where'd you go? We have no clue where she went. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. What'd that say over there? Piece of clothing. There she is, okay. Welcome to the junkyard. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Oh, we got a visitor. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. 
You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. We're gonna be a good Samaritan. No one's gonna get hurt today, okay? Nobody's gonna get hurt. There's no need for it. We don't need future conflicts, okay? We're gonna have enough future conflicts. We don't need to add on top of what we already have coming. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other Snake guy sealed train. in an electrified bunker by now. What's going on, Malthus? Sorry, Chloe. I've never <laughs> had a I'm getting gun like on really tired right now, honestly. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. Tired. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Tired right now. <laughs> At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. No, I'm finishing this episode and then I'm gonna close it down. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's <sighs> gun because of me. I wasn't planning on getting up until like maybe 11, but my sister ended up waking me up at like nine o'clock. So I've been up at nine o'clock. I, wow. I got maybe six Why hours of sleep, so. And I'm replaying episode two from yesterday. Later. I better follow Chloe now. Mm -mm -mm. I appreciate you coming in and talking, man. How you doing today? How you doing on this evening? But what would you mean by that? How can I ever play a game that way? What you talking about? Who needs sleep? You get plenty if you're dead. I need sleep, man. I'm not. You want to? You want me to sit here like? All right, we'll we'll play we'll play your way. This is this is how I really feel right now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. Just another day of Max's fucked up life. Time to go get Chloe. I don't want to go that way. No, yeah, we don't want to go that way either, but I'm like half asleep here. Like, how am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? I, I can't fully control your actions. Like, you're gonna have to at least help me a little bit, video game, come on. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't. Coffee me mad. is nasty. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate board and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Hey, Ultra Rab, you want time out of this channel?
But yeah, I need to breathe. I would rather have breath than coffee. You said no. Please. <laughs> Look, I know you've been in this channel a long time. And, uh, you come in, you troll, then you leave. It's getting kind of old, man. Stop trolling. I know you speak English, but that's your trolling, okay? Just stop trolling all the time. Why can't you just come in and have a normal conversation? You come in, you troll, then you leave. Stop it, okay? I give you permission to troll once a week. Just act like a normal human being. I'm so freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer. Where Explanation mark snacks is what it is. Joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Maybe this... Maybe this is the one time a week. Oh, yeah, I forgot, guys. I'm sorry. You won't be able to check your snacks. Uh, Ankhbot's not working. So, yeah. Not going to be able to check your snacks, guys. I'm sorry. Forgot about that. <laughs> it's not letting me sign in. So, I, uh, yeah, I don't know why I forgot, but I forgot about that. So, yeah. It won't let me sign into it, so sorry about that. No, it's not light and magic knows too. I mean, it's not something that uh, it's not something that I've done or whatnot. The bot had an update again, so now it's not letting me sign in. So they're they're just gonna have to fix it. Because, I mean, there's nothing I can do at this point. There, there's really nothing that I did that what, that what, that is causing me not to be able to sign into it. So. <sighs> Hung out. You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. You can wait for Dead Space tonight. I will be streaming Dead Space probably around 9 or 10. I just need to, when I'm done with this episode, I just need to take a break and just kind of sleep for a little bit. Because I didn't get much of that last night. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Who knows if they'll ever make that game.
<laughs> What's that noise? A train. Uh, Oh shit. Somebody honking their uh, car horn that sounds like a train horn, maybe. I forget if we can get in here. Shit, I can't budge it at all. No, we can't. Come on, back. Take the I can definitely use this bad boy. Please get me out. We're not Nothing wasting any time. Get me out of here, Max. We're coming. Please. Hold on. I have to help lift Chloe up. Max, get me out of here. That was close. That was close. You saved me again. Holy you okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Heck, um, if Ankhbot was working, guys, I have a command uh, for if you want to die. I mean, you know, I guess it's really the same thing as ban getting banned. If you want to get banned in the channel, all you got to do is explanation mark ban and you're banned. Chloe. Right on time for but, my art. Uh, Thanks for coming with me. Ankhbot's not working, so too Sorry bad. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Ankhbot ain't working, man. Sorry, you can't get banned today. When Ankhbot is working again, you come back in, you can use that, then you'll get banned, if that's what you want. I think that's what you want, though. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <laughs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. <laughs> Do you know about chaos theory? I mean, I'll be honest, like, Ultra Bab, he does troll, and he just admitted it to me. I mean, he's been in this channel a long time. He doesn't really do anything to the point where, you know, but I'm just saying, man, it does get kind of annoying after a while. I mean, you know, given the circumstances. I mean, it's not like you're here all the time. Uh. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah, well, don't be letting people off the hook, okay? Don't be letting people off the hook. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some work. But you do make a good point. I mean, you know. So I guess that's kind of nice to have in, in a channel oh every God, now and then. The like I said, as long as it's not somebody who's like ruining story for a game. As long as it's somebody who isn't somebody I don't like know really that like that like has never been here and they're saying stupid shit. You know what I mean? 
Like I met Ultra Bab when we uh, when we played uh, Xenoverse Two. We actually played that game a few times together when when I streamed it. And I mean, he's a good guy. But like I said, you know. It's like I said, you know, you heard what I said. <laughs> Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Nah, it's not. No, never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yes, sir. Oh, I know I do. Don't worry. I did that like two weeks ago. Dude wanted to be an asshole, and I was like, look, you don't have to be an asshole. I gave him plenty warning. But did he want to listen? No, he didn't. He was just legitimately just being here to be a troll, to be an idiot. And I was like, you can be an idiot somewhere else. You ain't going to be an idiot here. Excuse me, Mr. He didn't Madison? want to listen, so I know things bam. got heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. <laughs> yeah, just as long as it just doesn't get too toxic, you know. I'm definitely not going to have one of those kind of chats, all right? If I need to go to the store and pick up, I need to go to the store and pick up a few things. Sorry I don't drink, though. I really don't. I'll drink Sprite, juice, and tropical fruit drink made from Simple. Simply, you know, it's like Simply, uh, what is it, like Simply Tropical? Stuff is good. But no, don't drink beer, don't drink wine. If I'm only out with, like, a friend, and it is just, like, some special occasion, yes. But I don't drink beer. I don't like the taste of it. What about Kate? He stepped between it. us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. You best not bother chatting me up now. You best not bother chatting me up now. Okay, don't worry. We won't get into that. Nope, I can't do it. Okay. Or what I can do is I can download a digital picture. I can give you some digital beer. Does that sound good? You just let me know what kind you want. I'll download it digitally for you, and I'll send it to you, like in a whisper or something. Hopefully that'll be good enough. That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. I know, right, guys? My goodness. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Um, of course I do. Like, I go to those things every weekend, girl. I mean, you don't know how I get down. Like I said, you ain't in these shoes, so stop judging. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, 
Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Oh, yeah, we got in. So what, what did you just say how you go down? Wait, what? I don't even know, man. Sometimes I get in the moment and I just start saying things and I just forget what I say. I don't even think about it. <laughs> of course, I know I'm not saying anything bad, but, you know, sometimes I will just, like, go off the wall with just saying random stuff that just comes out and just comes out, you know? I improvise, and then sometimes I forget what I'm saying, you know? I did take some improv classes, you know? I'm in the I still have time. I could go see Warren playing see, listen to scientist two. in the lab. I had to score some lead from Nathan. I like how it goes. It goes from one ear. I'm hearing it in this ear. I'm hearing it in both. And now it just is playing in this ear. <laughs> Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. So you can't help honest. me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Kate, I do. Nobody. We we have been here before, okay? I was walking this hallway with you yesterday. I'm walking it with you today, okay? I'm telling you that we are going to fix everything that is going on. I promise. I'm your friend. I'm here for you. Nobody is going to be able to touch us, okay? I'll make sure that this all stops after today. You have my word, Kate. I'll see you later, okay? Love ya. Call me. Text me. Uh... Tweet me? Alright. Yeah, things sound great if they are implemented cor correctly. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the science classroom. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making Ooh, your daily rounds? Ooh. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You what? already planted a GPS hard. on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Okay, nothing's changed. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. Thought maybe we could have a different answer in there. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Okay, see ya. Well, yeah, this, uh... I, I'm pretty sure this game is rated teen. Pretty sure it's rated teen. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Ooh, do it. Or nothing will happen at all. Huh? Shouldn't be watching this. I was starting the game up myself, but the comments of you can't. The comments of you can't make me leave. Huh? What do you mean by that? 
You can do whatever you want to do. You can go take a shower right now if you want to. Chemistry stuff. Bring me the brains, Gore. Is that who we are? Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Let's see what sodium does. We said potassium last time. Go make a coffee, dude? No. Yeah, I mean, you could have a shower if you want, or you can go to the grocery store, you know, pick up some bread, you know, maybe some uh, peanut butter. You know, if you want to go out and get a salad, pick up some wings, I don't care. You can, uh, you can go do that. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. I don't know what sodium's going to do. Damn, zip, nothing. Okay, sodium, nah. sodium just doesn't do anything. Hey, Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. You don't have anything that's Pets like 24 hours? Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potass. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. This works? You get a free hug. Oh, wow. I can't wait to hold you in my arms. Weird science. Not in my region. This is not us. Ow. How do you not at least have one store that's hey, open Warren. that late? Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Oh, not the Maxwell USA. Maxwell Silver Hammer. <laughs> Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Lots. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Man, kid, you could've got hurt. Better watch what you're doing. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, I would add chlorine. Oh. Why does it want us to rewind, though? Something else might happen. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, curious. How is your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing in, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. 
I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Bye. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again real soon. Yeah, this is just the first game. This is not before the storm. Before the storm, I'll be playing that later. When I'm done streaming this one. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? No. Hey, Warren. Are you let's okay? see if anything changed. You Thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. That was fun helping Warren. There we go. I knew I didn't have that one. Long geek mode. Appreciate it, Miss Grant. Talk to you later. Now, I mean, we spent so much time just like talking to other people. Like, has time moved on? Like, his, this dude's class has got to be over by now. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So, what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yeah, David Madsen. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. Then go. My number one rule of photography. Live your life. And Max? Do what you have to do. I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video. Have a good stream and thanks. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. I'm glad that you came in and decided to chat it up for a little bit. So I appreciate that. It's pretty late over there, so you probably need to get your rest, man. So you get a good rest then. And I will see you another day. Till then, goodbye. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. You are welcome. Have you talked to her? Yes, I have. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was private. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. 
so you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Um, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hey, we want to leave! Uh-huh. <sighs>